Incoming customer detected. Keep your eyes open, boys. We need to have a serious talk! Hello to you all my fellow Wastelanders, welcome once again, my name is Ira, this is Blind Gamer Plays, and we are back at Fallout 76, checking out another weapon you guys might have interest in. We are going to be today looking at a bloodied uh, automatic assault rifle with extra agility and extra damage while aiming. Um, I do have this set up as an automatic just because, again, I have the uh, automatic commando build uh, set up. And this weapon might prove interesting. Um, I've used it a couple of times and we'll see what ends up happening as far as the damage output that it can do. And um, if it can compare to the fixers or if it's uh, something that we can throw by the wayside. We'll take a look. So. Uh, here is my build I am using. Again, it's not completely 100% uh, damage output min-max sort of a situation, but it has the quality of life things that I look for in a good build. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head over towards the uh, Super Mutants first, and we'll take a look. As you guys can see right now, it is doing 105 damage. I am in bloodied uh, mode with Nerd Rage active, and um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. We're over here at West Tech. We will take a look and see what we can do here. So obviously we're going to go for headshots because that's going to be the most efficient way of doing things. And uh, wow. All right. Yeah. 241 damage and the uh, adrenaline has not fully kicked in yet. 273. There we go. The one thing about assault rifles that I will say is, my God, they reload quickly. Um, <laughs> comparatively. And that is without having the faster uh, reload tertiary effect on this weapon. Uh, come on, hit him. There you go. Okay. So yeah, uh, two, three shots. That's That seems to be about what the uh, average here is. Maybe four, depending on uh, if they have their head turned or not. Not really complain about the damage. That is really good damage output on this thing. Let's go ahead and head towards the back, see what we can find over there. Assault rifles are really good. Um, I know that uh, fixers are sort of meta, and uh, combat rifles are by um, proxy because they are basically just a fixer. I mean, a fixer is just a combat rifle with a couple of little extra additive things to it. Um, but as you can see, I mean, this comes out with a lot of damage. And the nice thing is with the assault rifles not being the meta of everything, you can usually find them a little bit cheaper. Uh, if, if somebody has them on a vendor, they're usually selling these a little bit cheaper than they would, say, a combat rifle or a fixer or anything along those lines. Um, of course, fixers are going to sell for an exorbitant amount of money, uh, but uh, yeah, it's not bad. Let's go ahead and see what it can do against us. Uh, well, yeah, let's do a Scorch Beast, see what we can do. Okay, so we're over here with the Scorch Beast, and uh, we'll we'll take a look, uh, knock out some of these yard trash guys standing around. Get his attention. Come on now. There we go. Of course, these have a bit of a shorter range on them than some of the other weapons do. Not by much, though. It's not too bad of a factor. Yeah, look at that. Look at that damage output. And already down. I mean... <laughs> that's pretty damn effective. Of course, we took a little bit of damage there, too, but, you know... It is what it is. So yeah, we'll move on, see what it can do against Swan. Okay, we're over here to say hi to Swan and uh, take a look and see how this one does. We'll go ahead and take our first shot there on him and um, get him to wake up a little bit. Make sure our uh, magazine is full. <clears throat> All right. 
And there we go. About 20 bullets. I, I missed a couple of shots there and uh, obviously fired a couple of shots there at the end, but about 20 bullets. That's that's pretty good. For being an assault rifle, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, move on and take a look at something else. Okay, we're over here at the Meyerler Queen area. We might have a little bit more difficulty here just because I am skirting the line as far as my health goes, uh, health bar goes, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how effective this can be. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> the, first, the first salvo has been fired and uh, taken care of. And uh, I'm not sure where the kings are. Or if they have even spawned. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, did they kill each other? I don't know, maybe. Or is it having some trouble spawning? Might be that, because I'm not seeing these guys over here either. Yeah. Well, they might have taken care of each other, I guess, maybe. I don't know. All right. Well, we'll see if we can get the queen to spawn here. Knock on her door. Are you going to be around there, queen? There we go. Yeah. All right. So we'll aim for her legs. Again, we might have a little bit more difficulty here, but... Come on, queen. There we go. Yeah, now she's now she's spotted us and got us poisoned, so uh, we'll respawn here. As you can see, though, I mean, it was taking her down quite a bit. And again, that's probably more my fault than anything, just because um, the, again, the skirting the line of things was there. Uh, so now that we're out of the nerd rage mode, this thing's doing 91 damage. So it's not really all that much different. Um, what is it? About 15 points less damage. That's not, that's not shabby. That's really not all that shabby of a loss. All right. So one of the Kings down and Hey, I got a level. Can't complain on that. Can't complain on that. Seeing what I can do to get her attention again. Go for her leg again. There we go. So about 112 damage a shot. Still not completely spotting me, so we're okay. There we go. Yeah, I mean, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> This guy taken care of, hopefully. Go. There we go. Kill him off the yard trash that decided to spawn up now. <laughs> go figure. There we go. All right. Well, let me uh, let me loot this up and I'll give our conclusions here. Okay, so obviously a weapon that's like this, uh, being bloodied and in a bloodied build, is going to be very effective no matter what kind of weapon it is, really. Um, you're going to pump out a lot of damage. But the um, side effect point is how much ammo are you going to be spending out to do just that. I started off with about 26, or I'm sorry, about 2300 ammo, I do believe, and, um, you know, ran through a couple hundred rounds, right? Uh to do that higher level content with that few bullets, you know, even if you're going up to about 500, 5.56 five, ammo is cheap to make. It's real easy and cheap to make. So, um, yeah, I mean, a weapon like this, obviously it's going to do well being in a bloodied build. Uh, would an anti-armor or something like that, junkies or things along those lines, do just as well? Perhaps. And if I come across something like that, I will do testing and we can see um, what would come about with that. But uh, what do you guys think? Would you use a weapon that's like this? I do think if you can't get a hold of a bloodied fixer or something like that, this weapon would be really good. I mean, obviously it can pump out the damage and keep up with pretty much anything that's out there damage wise. Um, so even though it may not be the meta, um, it can still do 
quite a few things that you want to have done. So if you guys liked this, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you enjoyed this as well, hit that subscribe button. I come up with new stuff every day and I'd love for you guys to take a look. Make sure you hit the notification bell as well. Um, so until next time, keep safe out there. Have fun. Thank you so much as always for watching and we'll talk to you again later. Hello, Rose. I saw you taking a little detour out there to talk to that overseer of yours. This land is his land, and none else are welcome. Enemy sighted! Guys, they're here! Okay. Where'd you come from? <laughs>